Hi guys, welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. In today's episode, I will show you how to make an all-purpose flavorful stew recipe, which you can definitely use to prepare some white boiled rice, some jollof rice or some spaghetti, yams or plantains. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. Feel free to share this video with your friends, loved ones or anybody you want to share it with. Thank you. I welcome you all back to my channel. So in today's episode, like I've already introduced, what we are making is a jollof rice stew base or a perfect um, stew that you can use for any recipe of your choice. What I have here is some washed uh, beef. I just want to use one minute to guide you on how I developed uh, my stock which I'll be using to prepare the stew later. For those of you who would like to see how I got the stock. So I'm just tossing some salt at the surface of the beef. In my hand here I have a pair of nut cube. I'll go forward and break that in. The last ingredient I'll add right now is what is called the meat flavor stock. This is very very perfect if you're cooking a beef. I'll turn my heat to the highest. I'm going to cook this here for only 5 minutes without adding any water to it, guys. Just 5 good minutes. Okay, guys, so while the cooking process is taking place on the heat, I'm going to combine all these ingredients right into this blender here and then blend them up um, effectively. What I have here is um, 3 small onions two red super spicy scotch bonnet peppers, some fresh basil and some fresh rosemary. Also here I have a combination of um, different um, dry spices of um, black and white pepper, some oregano, some cumin and coriander, thyme and paprika and also some garlic powder. If you have red bell pepper, you can also go forward and, and include that. But this period that we are having them um, coronavirus and um, issues, yes, when you go to the shops, you cannot find all ingredients. That is why I don't have that right now. So if you have it, just um, toss it in here, guys. After adding all the ingredients, I'll go forward and add a reasonable quantity of water to this um, blend. Welcome back, guys. The five minutes cooking process is done. So we are going forward to pour in the blended mixture. I've gone ahead to mix everything completely so what I'll do now is to cover it and now we are going to cook this for only 15 good minutes and then I'll transfer it to my oven so at this point in time we are going over to the next step and here, here I have them um, double concentrated and um, tomato puree and I'm using about um, six of the tins. each of the tins of this tomato comprise um, 140 grams um, content so I have my fresh tin tomatoes and I'm only using three of it I'm using more of the tin tomatoes because I would like the thickness of this stew to be more reddish in appearance since I'm not using the red bell peppers which is going to help to improve the appearance of this stew I'm using more of the tin tomatoes in case you're not Type of person that like consuming the tin tomato puri or the tin tomato um, fresh however just um, click on the eye icon that is going to pop right now follow that um, icon and then go watch how you can make your homemade tomato puri out of um, fresh tomatoes all the ingredients into the blender now I will cover it up and then go blend all these things Fifteen minutes later guys and the beef is perfectly ready you can notice that the stock has reduced the quantity of water we placed earlier on has drastically reduced so this is what we are having here the beef is looking super amazing I'll go forward and then place it in my baking tray for the grilling process so here we have the stock 
the pot I placed on the heat here is what we are going to use to cook the tomatoes down. As you can see, I have uh, four burners in my cooker. So to reduce your cooking time, what you can do is to place your beef on one segment of your cooker and then place your tomatoes on the other segment. Why the two pots are cooking at the same time? But because I was busy off camera, I could not um, do that. The blended um, tomato mixture inside the pot. Now this step is very very important, especially if you're cooking a party recipe. This will help to reduce the cooking time of your recipe, guys. Jesus. Then stir everything very well, and then we are going to cover this pot and cook it for like um, 20 to 25 minutes or thereabouts until this whole mixture becomes a ticking then paste. Make sure you're stirring this pot because I'll be stirring mine off camera. Stir it as much as possible to avoid the pot from burning. Going over to the next step, in this plate here, I have various fresh ingredients that we are going to place inside my food processor. So we are going to process them in a coarse form. You can see I have about five small onion sizes. Here I have some ginger and garlic. And for my ginger, I did not de-skin it. If you want to de-skin it, please go ahead and do that. Also, I have um, three scotch bonnet peppers. I want this stew to be super spicy. If you don't like the peppers, please reduce the quantity of pepper. Finally, I have a combination of um, fresh basil and then um, fresh rosemary. These two ingredients is going to bring in a very unique taste to this um, recipe. I told you earlier on I don't have bell pepper. So if you have bell pepper, that is the red bell pepper or any of them, just include it. You can also add some serrano chilies if you have it okay guys we are going over to making the stew process here i have the outcome of the tomatoes we prepared earlier on can you guys see how thick this paste has turned out. So I've gone ahead to preheat my pot. It's perfectly heated. I'll open it up. And then what I'm going to do now is to pour in good quantity of oil inside uh, this pot. I have about four good cups of oil inside this pot. For this stew preparation, you will require a reasonable quantity of oil for this um, preparation process. So when we are done cooking this stew, I will go forward and then scoop out um, excess oil. The oil is perfectly heated. I'm going to add the combinations of um, coarsely blended ingredients I have in my food processor. of um, different spices the spices I'm using here the same spices we use the same time we were cooking the beef but as you can see I've gone ahead to include some turmeric and some curry powder so right now I'm going to pour it inside the pot to five minutes later guys i am back to check the outcome of the pot you can see everything has turned them translucent and right now you can perceive a good aroma in your kitchen now i'll go forward and include the tomatoes that we prepared earlier on this is the tomatoes guys so we are going to fry this tomato right now inside this um, oil Tomatoes is the reason why we are using a good quantity of oil for this um, frying process. That's the reason I told you that after frying this stew, I will go forward and then scoop out all the oil from the pot. So please, for those of you who will come for me in the comment section, I'm going to scoop out this oil. But still, you will need a good quantity of oil to fry your tomato-based um, stew. That is the secret to having a delicious um, stew. The right now smells so, so good. It smells really good. Can you see what we are having there right now? The appearance of the stew is so nice. I mean, it's so beautiful. Can't you see that? It's super amazing. Can you see how colorful the stew is looking already? 
I love the color and the aroma in this kitchen, eh? Oh my god, guys, the aroma. Take your time and stir the pot very well so that everything will come together, guys. So I'm going to cover this pot now because we are going to cook it on medium heat. Take our time and then fry these tomatoes inside this oil. And that is going to take about 10 to 15 good minutes. By the time we come back, you will notice that the appearance of this stew has completely changed. Make sure you're stirring this pot um, off camera because I'll be doing just that. Ten to fifteen minutes later, guys, I'm back to check out the pot. I told you earlier on, I have been staring this pot off camera. I hope you can see the appearance of the stew has changed. You can also notice that the oil appearance in the pot has um, that. What we are having right now, so the tomatoes is perfectly fried inside the oil. At this point in time, I'm going to break um, two pair of them, um, no cubes, inside the stew. I also have the meat flavor stock. It brings a very delicious taste and flavor to the stew. So I'll add about a tablespoon of that. So take your time and then mix everything to combine very Once I'm done combining that, I'm now going to introduce the beef stock that we made out earlier on. Notice I have not yet added salt. That is because um, the stock and the cubes we added has some salt. So like I said, I will not be adding any salt to this stew right now. I will allow the heat to come out once again before I know whether I'm going to add salt or not. This is the outcome of the beef that we grilled earlier on. Guys, this beef tastes so, so delicious. It tastes super amazing and super, super delicious. Just in case you want to add your beef inside the stew, you can just go ahead now and add um, the beef so that it will cook the same time with the stock inside the stew. But for this recipe, we are not including any beef to it. Okay, guys, because of the stock that we added inside the stew, we are going to allow the stew to cook extra 5 to 10 good minutes so that the stock will infuse its flavor inside the stew. And then we will come back and then wrap up. Five to ten minutes later guys and finally finally we have come to the end of today's um, recipe guys can you see how the appearance of this stew is looking it's looking incredibly amazing super super delicious remember i did not add any salt here that is because um you know i've added my stock here at the same time i added some stock cubes so they were perfectly okay so i've gone ahead to test my stew off camera test it once again to confirm if i should add salt or not the aroma in this kitchen is so nice mm, it's so delicious guys it's so super super delicious so i'm not going to add any salt so in case yours is not um, delicious or tasty you can go forward and just toss in some salt here and then cover the pot for extra three minutes to allow the salt to cook inside the stew but mine is super super perfect like i told you earlier on we are going to scoop out um, this oil for the sake of your heart okay so we are going to scoop out this oil this oil is what we will use to make maybe jollof rice or stew or any sauce during the week store it in your freezer and it can stay there frozen as long as possible so this our oil is packed with a lot of flavor i mean all the flavor from this stew is inside this oil so guys please don't pour this oil in we will <laughs> The quantity of oil I have in the pot right now is perfect because um, you know during the time we'll be eating the stew you will still need some oil and also when you'll be making some pasta, spaghetti or rice, jollof or whatsoever you will still need some oil here you know for a jollof um, recipe so this oil quantity is perfect for me so guys this is the outcome of today's um, stew recipe thank you so much for joining me in today's episode i really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe if you have don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload new videos and guys please feel free to share this video guys share share this video to your friends 
loved ones, anybody you want to share it with, pass the message across so that people will get to know this platform. Thank you guys. Until I come your way next time, bye bye.